Our next guest says that the bullish case for the economy depends on improved employment and improved consumer spending. So where should investors put their money in this market? Barbara Marson is a fund manager for the Gabelli Blue Chip Value Fund, where she helps manage about $2 billion. Uh, Barbara, welcome to the show. Thanks Thank for joining you. us today. Let me ask you, first of all, about uh, uh, the opportunity for improved employment. Are we going to see that? Do we see the jobs picture pick up? I don't think so. I think we're um, maybe even as much as two years away from uh, private sector employment picking up. You know, we've certainly seen um, job losses abate, but I think that you really have to extrapolate out too much in order to see um, companies hiring because companies right now, um, you know, they're sitting on cash, they're sitting on capital spending plans because they see that consumers are strapped and are going to continue to be for another year or two. And so we're not seeing uh, employment plans pick up. But I, I mean, we see the uh, resurgence in inventories. Hopefully that continues. Uh, we see productivity at an incredible rate. I mean, it can't continue. That can, can't, can't continue at that level, right? So don't those two things together lead to a need for more employees? I don't think so. I think the inventory restocking is really a two-quarter phenomenon, fourth quarter of, of last year and first quarter of this year. And it can add as much as, you know, spread over those two quarters as much as 5 or 6%. You know, I think the 5.7% fourth quarter um, estimates are for about 3.5% of that came from inventory restocking. And it's really because last year in the first quarter of, of the year, things completely froze. You know, we froze all production of all kinds of goods and services and everyone sort of ate out of their pantry and didn't mm, um, right. resupply anything. So now we're seeing just a reset of that. But I don't think it's it's not uh, something that's going to lead to further spending in the private sector. It's going to take a while to ramp up. Yes. I mean, it took a while to ram, ramp down, if you will. It's going to take a while to go to the upside, correct? Yes, yes. To me, that means it's a tougher backdrop ultimately for corporate earnings because they've squeezed out a lot of costs and that certainly has helped in terms of the bottom line but ne not necessarily on the top line. So what do you see then as the backdrop for, for right. corporate earnings here? That's right. They've done beautifully really beating estimates um, for a few quarters basically with cost cuts and, and again not spending their money. Um, and we've seen that consistently reported in the outlooks that have accompanied the corporate earnings right. for the fourth quarter. We've seen a consistent story. We saw it again this week with Disney and Viacom and um, does that you know, change anytime soon? I don't I mean, think not for another year or two. You know, part of the problem also for corporations is that we're, con we're still um, debating the issues of taxes and regulation in energy, in health care, in, in a variety of industries. Right. And I think companies are trying to see what the platform is like before they make plans and spend. So well, we just talked with Steve Kroll, and I mean, he anticipates you're going to have to see higher taxes. You're looking at these terrible deficits at both the federal and the state level. It's, it's just a matter of time. Do you agree? Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, you were just talking talking about what's going on in New Jersey and certainly there are a handful um, of states that really are in some somewhat dire straits right now mm -hmm. but certainly state and local governments are projected right now to lose another 900,000 to a million jobs in the next 12 months right um, so do, do you I mean do you expect we add maybe a point with census and then with the census and then stay around nine percent eight and a half over the next year or I do, I do. You know, I I don't think we'll get below. We might get below nine, but I think we're really in this eight to nine and a half percent range for another year, year and a half before you start seeing some private sector start to add. All right, Barbara, you got to put money to work, though. All right. So to me, it sounds like it is a little bit of a, a still tough backdrop here for corporations. So what are you looking at? Yes, it is a tough time, but of course the market's so hard to uh, time. Right. Certainly this year, really, I think uh, 2009 really surprised all of us on the upside, and it's very difficult to tell the mar market delivery that long-term 9 to 10 percent average in such an uneven way. Right. So I think it's very hard to come in and come out and get it right more than once. So do you think I this is going to be a down market this year or um, what do you think? I'll say flat. I think mm -hmm. it's going to take us a while to grow into these valuations. At about 15 times earnings, I don't think there's good value here considering the lack of growth. So I think individuals are best served by investing in right now where I think the cheapness lies, which is unusual, which is in a lot of the blue chip names, which right. have good balance sheets, they're good cash generators, and they pay a dividend. So they return some of that um, earnings and, and cash flow to shareholders in a current way. You can get four, five, six percent on a few companies, you know, that I think are, are high quality, such as DuPont, AT&T, Verizon, Bristol Myers, and you can get three uh, to four percent on Kraft, uh, Pepsi, Intel, Johnson & Johnson. So you can put together your own list of blue chips or you can buy into a blue chip fund that tries to do that. You own all of those? I do. You do. Okay. Some of them seem like a play. I mean, Caterpillar at least seems like a total play on the economy, though. Yes. So. Uh, so that's part of the reason to um, 
that Caterpillar has a dividend, a decent dividend, so you can kind of wait it out a little bit. Um, it is a play on stronger economic growth, and if I'm right and that takes another full year or two, then you're not going to see much price performance out of Caterpillar, but at least you get that dividend. But you still get paid. All right, Barbara, thanks so much for joining us. Barbara Thank Marson you. from Gamco Investors.